A desperate people know nothing of mercy. We, the people, had suffered the cruelty of men too fed to starve, too rested to care. But no more. had endured years of war and failed military campaigns. A play for power by kings who cared more for their legacy than their people. With the nation deeply in debt, the nobility carried on with their lavish lifestyles. Ignoring our struggles and levying taxes upon us to shoulder the load for La France. We starved in the streets, tossed aside like rats. No longer would we be left to die. We formed a national assembly for the third estate, our first step in the fight for independence. Yet, we never could have known the dangers that lie waiting. The National Assembly vowed for life. We were willing to do what was needed, violently, if necessary. We surged, unstoppable. The taste of freedom and liberty fell upon each of our lips. When La Bastille fell, we grew hungrier, not for bread or for grain, but for justice. Even His Highness wasn't safe from our reach. For too long had he dismissed our threats. Let him try to ignore us now. After ordering the death of the king, one man thirsted for control. He claimed to represent the people against the monarchy, but was far more dangerous than any king. Maximilien de Robespierre. The slightest suspicion of counter-revolution was met with death. Mere rumors and speculation so many of us meet our end. Families torn apart by Robespierre's reign. A reign of terror. Hundreds of thousands dead. Streets run red with blood. But the reign of terror would not last. Robespierre knew he was to meet the very end he had brought upon so many. While fighting his arrest, he tried to make his escape, but he was unsuccessful. A bullet to the jaw to remind him of his failure. A desperate people know nothing of mercy. This is the history you know, behind the bloodshed and la guillotine. A different secret revolution awaited, its story burning to be told. and an album and I'm on tour. Let's throw a video game in the mix. So when Assassin's Creed thing came up and it was all you know, taking place during the French Revolution, I thought that was incredibly uh, attractive because it is such a dark, weird time, yet so visually 
and stunning that I thought, well, at first it seemed like an odd thing for a video game, but after getting deeper into it, I realized that it was, it was perfect. You know, Tony Moore will be, you know, helping to imagine some of this, doing the storyboards and the layout art. I thought, well, you know, he's fantastic, so that'll be a great combination. I'm Tony Moore, a comic book illustrator. Most people know my work from The Walking Dead. It's definitely an awesome opportunity to get to work with, you know, guys like Rob and Justin on, on a project that's got the profile of Assassin's Creed. And, you know, the story itself is really fun because there's no shortage of things to noodle on or, you know, kind of sink your teeth into it as far as uh, the subject matter goes. When Ubisoft first approached us about producing the project, they had a very specific outline of some key events that they wanted us to touch on that took place during the French Revolution. So we gave Rob a very specific sort of framework to work with him, but we gave him enough room that he could put his stamp on it and really, you know, put some of his really brutal visualizations to the story. I would look at the reality of what went on in the French Revolution, the way things were done. And I just thought like, well, you know, it's not like there's tons of film footage of all this going down, you know, other things could have happened. And I would just look at each situation and kind of put my own twist on it and thought, well, that probably could have happened and this could have happened or this could have looked like that. I had a lot of fun drawing a um, simple frame, but uh, King Louis the Sixteenth severed head just laying on the ground. And you can see the kind of like ham steak of the neck. It was awesome because I could, you know, lay it in and, and, and put all the details in there. And then when I hand it off to Justin, like I don't have to worry that it's going to get misinterpreted because he's probably the one other person I could hand it to who also knows what the cross section of a human neck looks like. The way that Tony works it, it's just it's completely different than the way that I do my layouts. You know, doing all the detail shots where it's uh, super close-ups of you know like a knife in an eye or a severed head or just something spurting out of something. Um, it, it's really fun. And watching what the post team is doing is really cool where they're doing like the 3d mapping and changing the stuff that i see is kind of generally flat and turning it uh into a world what i love about tony moore's artwork is it's so expressive and intense and he takes you into these situations that are so fun to animate because the characters almost will themselves to life kyle from new science really wanted to see how far we could push the envelope. So we developed some new techniques to bringing the characters and environments to life in an organic way that was true to the original art. Really what brought the whole story together was, was Theodore, the, the actor who played the executioner. When we first heard his voice, we really knew that he was the executioner, like he was our guy. You know, he went into a studio in Paris and just delivered just the most incredible performance. No longer would we be left to die. We formed a national assembly for the third estate. Our first step in the fight for independence. The sound for this story required it to carry a good amount of the storytelling. We accomplished that by using a lot of modern sound design with really dark musical cues to try to transport the viewer to this dark place and period of history. I think that's probably quintessentially Rob is, is, you know, that juxtaposition of sexiness and just gross. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's what makes his stuff all work. I think it's probably what's made it work, you know, in his music videos since the beginning and, and now his movies and stuff too. I got aware of the materials and looked at it. I, I got, you know, interested and inspired and wanted to be part of it. Once my brain clicks in to be part of something, then I kind of have to do it. You know, it's it's just outside of the realm of what I usually do, like just enough that it's challenging, which keeps it engaging. And uh, in that aspect, it's been a load of fun and probably one of the coolest games I've ever gotten to work on. Make history. Assassin's Creed Unity. Pre-order now for two bonus offers. The Guillotine Spin to Win game. Get a chance to win prizes every Friday. And the explosive Chemical Revolution mission. Pre-order now. Available October 28th.